In this video, we're going to have a look to see how to add a carousel or a product slider to your uh, main shop page. So maybe you want to display your items on sale before your products. That's what we're going to have a look at here. We're going to be using uh, Oxygen Builder for the site, uh, Oxygen Elements for WooCommerce, and then Oxy Extras to build the carousel and of course WooCommerce. So if we have a look at our site at the moment, we have a standard shop page with some products and now we're going to add a carousel to the top of this page. So Oxygen uh, is installed so we can just go to Edit Shop Archive Template and edit with Oxygen. Oxygen is loading. Oxygen is loaded and we're ready to set up our carousel. First thing we'll do is head over to the structure and we're going to add a new section. We'll move that to the top. And then what we'll do is we'll add our carousel to that section. And here we go to Opsi Extras and we say Carousel Builder. And in this case we're going to select uh, uh, WooCommerce uh, components or WooCommerce product gallery. In this case it, it will be WooCommerce components and what we do then is under the carousel builder we add WooCommerce and we go for a product list. Right, so there we have our list of products. So before we do anything, let's have a look and see what that looks like on the front end of the website. So we'll save that. And then let's open that in a new tab. And there you can see we have our carousel running with some products in. And we don't like that difference in height. And also everything's very close together. So to change that, what we do is head over to the carousel builder and we'll head over to cells we'll put some uh, space between the cells so let's make that 20 pixels and then when we go to the actual carousel we'll force equal height so there we have all the cells the same height and there's a bit of space between them let's save that and then let's head over to our products list and what we're going to do is in the product query we'll go to custom and what we'll then select is on sale only so only the products for sale are going to appear in our carousel head over to the front end refresh the page and immediately you see that the items align at the bottom and the top and you'll also notice that that title shop is also no longer visible now that we're in a custom uh, post loop and we can then of course scroll through the products now what we can do we can click on the product and go through to that product we can also um, change some alignment if we want to so th there's a couple of things that we can do now but essentially that's how easy it is to create a carousel of products for sale on your um, site above uh, your normal shop. If you want to check that for mobile, let's inspect that. And when we go to the mobile view, you'll see it immediately defaults to one item at a time. So you can scroll through with your finger looking at each product and that's literally how easy it is to set up that carousel and it's mobile friendly straight away so yeah great i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching